What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're going to be opening the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Lightning Overdrive. And not only are we going to be opening the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, but courtesy of Yu-Gi-Oh Black Market, they gave us a booster box to give to you guys. So you guys will have a chance to win one of these. I also got one from my local store. So we have three booster boxes. I'm going to open two of them in this video. And this one, I guess this one will be given to you guys. So all you have to do to enter that giveaway, like this video, be subscribed. Let me know your favorite car from Lightning Overdrive. There is a Prismatic Black Rose Dragon, or I guess it's a Starlight Rare, not Prismatic. Uh, so really cool. Hopefully we'll pull it or maybe it'll be in this box that one of you guys wins. So make sure you enter that giveaway. Let's open the newest set. All right, let's start off with the booster box from my local store and let's see what we can get. We're going to open two two boxes. So we have a couple, uh, a couple of chances to get something crazy. Um, as you guys know, Starlights are very difficult to pull. They're about one in every two cases. About I think it's 25 boxes, actually. So a little bit more. It's one every 600 packs. So we've got 48 packs here with the chance to get it. Uh, I don't know much about this set at all. I know there's like a book of like something. Star uh, prismatic Rare. So why do I keep saying Prismatic? Starlight Rare. So I don't really know what we even want from this thing other than the Black Rose. So we're just going to go through it. It's a new set. I'm excited about it. Let's see what we can get. This is not a Collector Rare set. It's obviously one with Starlight Rears. So let's see. Dog, Mata Calamity. Okay. Pegasus Twin Saber. AI Challenge You. AI Challenge You. May I Challenge You. AI Challenge You. Okay. There we go. We've got a Super Rare. That is a Buddy Rose Witch. We're going to go through a little bit. Oh, Ruddy. Now I remember what set this is. <laughs> you guys haven't heard about this. They, ch It's like supposed to be bloody, but apparently that was censored. So uh, I guess I don't know if I'm supposed to say that or what. I mean, it's bloody. Like it's, I guess in the UK maybe, is that is that considered like kind of foul language? Uh, in the United States, bloody is, doesn't really mean anything too bad. Okay, there we go. We've got a live twin, Casicle Frost, ultra rare. Very cool. The live twin artwork is very interesting. I don't know what you call it, but it's like, I don't know. You guys know what I mean. It's different than normal art. So I don't know what, what you would call it, but it is, it is pretty cool. Unique. But yeah, back to the ruddy thing. It's very strange. I saw on Twitter, people were like, by the way, follow me at Rexon34, self plug. You guys got to follow me there. Um, I only have like 3000 followers. There's like 77,000 y'all over here. So if you have Twitter, get over there. I mean, I tweet a decent amount, hang out. I mean, I respond to most of the tweets. So if you guys want to get into contact with me on Twitter, if you pull something epic, you can send me a, people do this all the time. They send me pictures or they uh, tweet me, oh, I'm about to open some packs or whatever. I can wish you luck and I can see your pulls and all that stuff. So check out Twitter. Back to the ruddy thing. I'm getting distracted. Uh, it is just weird. It's very weird. I, I don't know anybody that actually was happy about that. It's very, it's kind of weird. So Rocks Rose Dragon. So we'll see if we get the ruddy Rose Dragon or whatever it's called. Um then maybe we can see if we appreciate it, you know, more in person or not. We'll see if it's cool enough to have that weird name. <laughs> okay, so far we've got one Ultra Rare. What do we get, four Ultra Rares in these boxes? I'm not totally sure. I've heard that maybe you only get one. Oh, Secret Rare. Amazement Administrator Arlequino. Is this a new archetype? Amazement Administrator? Is that like an archetype? Or is Amazement the archetype? This guy definitely looks like he's from an anime. I mean, this is Yu-Gi-Oh card, so it makes sense. But does not, not look like some random dude in an anime. That's what that looks like. And then we've got Kirby. <laughs> Kirby and the Amazing Mirror over here. Very interesting. <laughs> All right, next pack. So far, this uh, different artwork, for sure. I kind of like it so far. AI meet you. I like these AI cards. Pretty cool. What? There's War Rocks in here, the best archetype of all time. War Rock Winto. Okay, so that now we see what they're doing. All right, the archetype sucks. We're gonna make some waifus out of it. All right, that that's the only way to save it. You can save any archetype like that. I mean, people will uh, people will be interested. Okay, here we go. Starry Night CL AI challenge you. Scrap Raptor. Boo Boo Game. And the Springins Merrymaker. That doesn't that that looks like fireworks. That's pretty cool. I like that. The Springins booty. What? We've got a booty card out here. <laughs> and yes, I know it's talking about treasure. I know it's talking about treasure. But still, it's a booty card. Come on, guys. There's a booty card. Here we go. Springins Brothers. We got a judgment of the branded. Dog tag. Yamori Mori. 
an amaze attraction cyclo coaster. So I guess amazement amaze is like the new archetype. I think it's new. I've never heard of it. Um, yeah. So also we are supposed to be getting a case of this. So if you guys want to see a live stream, let me know in the comments down below. We could potentially do one this weekend. I think I should have it by then. And we could do an epic live. Hopefully pull another starlight. We've had pretty good luck with our cases having starlights. Zexal Alliance. And Ida, the Sun Magician. War Rock Big Blow. Is this like describing the War Rock archetype? Or... <laughs> I just feel like they, they kind of set themselves up for that one. <laughs> okay. On to the next pack. Remember, you guys can win a booster box of this. All you got to do, like this video, be subscribed. Let me know in the comments your favorite card so far. There's some pretty funny ones, even if they're not good. Bujin, Turifun. I don't know if any of these are good, like in terms of meta play. Because obviously, you guys know, I don't really play in the meta. So, I'm just kind of observing based on artwork, based on names, based on some prices I know of other cards, etc. Okay, AI meet you. You may meet me. Amazement Special Show, Scrap Raptor, War Rock Generations. Rank up is... Okay, this looks sick. Is that the Zexel logo? Okay, that is a cool card. That looks really cool. I'm a big fan of that. That's very cool. I love that card. All right. Next up. The last pack on the right side of the first box. Wow, we got, we got to speed it up. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> okay, Amaze Attraction. We got the... Okay, this is the Atoshim... Mashi or whatever. This looks like that auto po auto auto this otter Pokemon that otter Pokemon I cannot say anything Lynn the light charmer. Is this the the starlight? They usually have a, a charmer one. I think that that looks just like that that Pokemon. I don't remember what it's called I don't know. Let me know guys. Is that the same as the Pokemon? I feel like it is S force dog tag CL zero Maxwell amazement attendant comica Okay, cool clock art We've got an ultra rare. All right, next pack. I just looked up a few prices just because I feel like I didn't know what the best card is. So it looks like the best secret rare is Diviner of the Herald. That well, that pack will not leave me alone. Um, oh, the Ruxin special. So that card looks pretty expensive. We'll see if it lasts, but proof of Pruffless. It's the Book of Lunar Eclipse. That's what it is. There's a Book of Eclipse already. That's, I was going to say Eclipse, and I was like, no, that's an old card. It's Book of Lunar Eclipse, so that makes sense. Pinned Transaction? Interesting. Next pack. Here we go. Judgment of the Branded? Dog Tag? Yamarori? Ooh, Drytron Mubeta Fafnir. This is the third or the second best secret rare. So according to TCG player, it's over 30 bucks right now, but that could change a lot. But it, if it's the second best card, usually there's two cards that have pretty good value. So that's a pretty good pull. It's a one star 2000 monster. That's pretty interesting. A one star 2000, two level one monsters you can exceed into a 2000. That's pretty good. That seems like it's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty expensive. So obviously it's worse. I mean, it's decent, I guess. Or at least they think it's going to be decent. Oh, I also forgot that in this set, there's the Dark Honest. So Dark Honest is a secret rare. That's pretty cool. I guess that's a Starlight. Is that a Starlight? Because for some reason, the Starlights aren't coming up on TCG Player. Um, that would be a pretty cool Starlight to get. Leva... Laval of all X Lord, pretty cool. Obviously, our goal is the the Black Rose Dragon. That's the go-to. Okay, we're struggling here. Here we go. Springins Brothers, Dan Mari, Sky Scourge, Dog Milak Calamity. <laughs> that was very a lot. Star Mine, interesting. Next pack. So we've pulled two secrets already. Does that mean we have no more? We should probably not have one. We will have. Ultras, I think, and I guess maybe a Prismatic. Ooh, Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray. We've got another Utopia Ray card. So there's so many different Utopia Rays, but we've got the Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray. That's pretty cool. What can we pull? We have a second box. Don't forget that. So we've got another chance at something big. Can we get something good, guys? Here we go. AI meet you. Yami Mori, Springin's Brothers, Judgment of the Branded, War Rock Spirit. Okay. And, oh yeah, these guys. These guys are on a lot of different artworks. These little goblin guys. They remind me of the guys, uh, why am I, I can't remember what they're called from Dragon Ball Z, but like Piccolo, and when they're on that, uh, the planet that Freeze is trying to take over or whatever, and there's tons of those little green dudes. <laughs> what are they called? What's his, uh, what is his species called? Do you call it a species, I guess? I don't know. 
I can't remember. Let me know in the comments if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan. You know what they're called. Um, I forgot. Dark Infant at Ignister. Infant. That's weird. Dark Infant. Two packs left in this box. Do we have an Ultra Rare left? Do we have a Prismatic Rare left? That's really what we are really looking for. Judgment of the Brandon. Scrap Raptor. Daphne. And Lynn the Light Charmer. Okay. So I think... I think the Starlights are Book of Lunar Eclipse, uh, Black Rose Dragon, uh, Lynn the Light Charmer, and is it Dark Honest? I think those are the five. I could No, I think one of them's a... It's probably Diviner of the Herald, actually. I don't know. S-Force Edge Razor. Okay, so that's the end of that first box. We still have another box. All right. So we have the second box sent by Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market. Also, make sure you guys check them out down below. You guys can grab some other boxes as well. I'll have their link in the description. But hopefully we can pull something epic from the box they sent us. If not, hopefully there's something epic. Well, actually, either way, hopefully there's something epic in the box that you guys are getting in the giveaway. So let's go ahead and pull these out of the booster box. All right, here we go. 24 more packs of the newest set, Lightning Overdrive. Can we pull that prismatic Black Rose Judgment of the Brandy? We've got the Scrap Raptor, Sun Avalon, and Daphne. We've got the Eda of the Sun Magician, Super Rare. Black Eyes. Black Eyes, Blue Dragon. The Black... The Black Eyes Blue Dragon. All right. I'm just kidding. I made that up. That was not the name. I didn't read the rest of the name. <laughs> Yami, Yamura Mori. Yamori Mori. Okay. Springen's Brothers. Judgment of the Branded. We got the Melias. And the Arm Sage. I like the, the art on these guys. Pretty cool. Okay. Next pack. So far, we've got two Super Rares. Not much happening in this box. So, the difference between this and the Collector Rare sets. In the Collector's Rare sets, you get three pulls, basically. And this, you get six pulls so it's a lot different s force edge razor razor you could even get uh seven i guess if you get the starlight so it's a lot more when you only get three i mean if you get a collector rare, you might get four it's just weird I don't, I don't really get why they do it like that it's i'm not a big fan dog tag and the rampart rampager the rampart rampager we have not pulled anything yet so that's good we're saving it for the end saving the suspense up guys Let's get something insane. We got the Scrap Raptor, War Rock Generations, Boo Boo Game, Dogma Calamity, and the Flora. That is very shiny, very ghost like. I like it. Okay, just a super though. I mean, that's like six packs in or something. No, four packs. Okay, I'm bad at judging things. Am I? Is that really only four packs? Wow. I think I'm, I think it was only four packs. I'm, I'm really falling apart here. Zero Maxwell Special Show, Curry Way, Pin Transaction. Okay, there's five. The Springen's booty. Springen's. You gotta keep your booty off the card, man. That's just messed up. That is not. That's just. Just keep the booty off the card, man. Zexel Alliance. Dark Eye Nightmare. War Rock Generations. Bujin Condescence. And Thrawn. Thrawn. <laughs> Ad Grand Admiral Thrawn. Okay. <laughs> not really Grand Admiral Thrawn. This is not Star Wars. Okay, next thing. Lightning Overdrive. I think it's funny how Thrawn on this is like. A little angel is that a dude i can't even tell but a little angel person and throw on like star wars is just like a beast all right camera bridge zero maxwell we got the first ultra rare amaze attraction i've got that again you and I okay next pack so we've pulled one ultra that's it no secrets so far can we pull something epic will it be at the end will we pull oh there's the pokemon something insane like a starlight rare we've got the dragonic halberd okay and clock arc can we pull something epic? Let's do this, guys. Sky Scourge, Chidels. <laughs> AI Meet You, Yami Miori. Oh, the live twin. Wait, is this the same one? We have like the same box almost already. We pulled both of these in the last one. That's interesting. Okay, two packs left over here. We've already opened 10. No secrets so far. Hopefully we don't get this. Well, I guess it wouldn't be bad to get the same secrets because we did get some good ones. Terrors of the Underroot, Spring and Brothers. Amaze Family Faces. Okay. Last pack on the right side. That means that we shuffled it. So it's not really the right side. It's just the new right side. Let's get something epic out of a Lightning Overdrive. The Paleozoic Cambro Roaster. Did it? Paleozoics have Link Monsters? That might be the first one. And Merry Maker. I don't remember. The Booty again. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to censor this out, guys. We got booty all over this video. All right. Next, next pack. This is ridiculous. Amazement Special Show, one Yuri Way, the Generations, Twin Saber. Ooh, wait. This is the exact same box. We've pulled three Ultras 
the same as last box. All right, so we've pulled these three from this box. We pulled those three in the last box and this. So if this is our last ultra and then we get these, I mean, it'd be okay. That's a good secret. That would be super weird. So right now we have the exact same box so far. And because they did come from different places. One was from Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market and one was from my locals. So they may have just grabbed the box that turns out to be the exact same, which is crazy. I mean, this is super weird. The exact same cards. I opened two boxes for the variants, but instead we're just going to get the exact same cards twice. All right. Very interesting. I'm confused by this. So we're not getting dark honest, I guess. Well, we'll see about the secrets. Ooh, Diviner of the Herald. It's not exactly the same. This is the big secret rare. This one's like 80 something dollars, I think, right now. So that is really good. That is super good. Check that out. Diviner of the Herald, very cool. And it's a fairy type card that goes with all the Herald cards. That's really cool. Type, yeah, I think that's what you call it. Man, I'm really a, a Yu-Gi-Oh noob, not gonna lie. <laughs> when it comes to the actual card game. All right. So they're not exactly the same, but we did get the two best secret rares out of two boxes. So we have some pretty good, there's my favorite super of the set, just because it looks incredible. I just like how that is the only hollow part. It just looks really good. I just, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. We stood she'll have stood she'll we stood she'll have an ultra and a secret in here and possibly a starlight scrap raptor. All right, the boo boo game, the ruddy rose witch. Okay, all right, maybe we'll get the ruddy dragon or whatever. The ruddy rose, the ruddy rose dragon and the booty. What a set! So all right, so you're telling me you can have a set with booty in it and no ruddy? Are you kidding me? I mean, I mean it has to be ruddy instead of bloody, and you can put booty. Very disrespectful. <laughs> okay last okay we got seven eight packs left we got a, we got a little bit left in our two box opening hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have subscribe for more epic openings we've got some insane stuff coming up let me know about that live stream if you guys want to see it we got the precious park the judge of the ice barrier nice war rock mamad all right we're getting close to the end of our 48 packs can we get an epic starlight secret something like that Avalon and melias Amazement Ambassador, Buffo, Ambassador. Hey, show my ship is out of our reach. Okay, yeah, sorry. Okay, enough of the Star Wars. Twin Saber, Paleozoic Camber Roaster. Oh, it's almost the same box. Another one of these. I gotta see if this is good. All right, this guy, according to the average price, which I mean, there's no telling what this will be tomorrow, is like 18 bucks. Not a bad card. I mean, pretty good. We'll take that. Um, so we got two of those and then the first and second best secret rares pretty good boxes I'd say uh, weird how close they were though and the only card difference so far is the second best one is the first best one in here and We'll see about the last ultra what happens the star mine again Two packs left. We should have one more ultra What can we get? What do you guys think about this lightning overdrive set? Um, I think it's somewhat interesting. There's a few cards. I like uh, letter like throwbacks like Dark Horse, Black Rose, all that stuff. Branded and White is coming to, gonna come down. Okay, final pack. Will it be an Ultra Rare? Will it be the same Ultra Rare? That's the question. Let's see what it'll be. We got the Scrap Raptor. We got the Boo Boo Game. Sun Avalon Daphne. We got, we got Scooby Doo in here. And oh, something different. The White Knight of Dogmatica. Oh, he's very cool. That is epic. I like that. That's really cool. So overall, pretty good. I think we did really good on this opening. All right, so from two boxes of the new Yu-Gi-Oh! set, Lightning Overdrive, we got an Amazement Attendant Comica, White Knight of Dogmatica, the only ones that we didn't get two of. Then we got two of the uh, Frost, two of the Amaze Attraction, two Utopia Rays, and we got two Amazement Administrator, our Lakino Secret Rare. Those are pretty good. Then the second best Secret Rare, the Drytron Mubeta Fafnir, two level one monsters. I just think that's interesting. And a Diviner of the Herald, the best card in the set besides the Starlight Rares. So overall, we did really good. I enjoyed opening the set. Maybe we'll open a case live. Let me know in the comments. I think it'll be pretty fun. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh. Oh. Ha, 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 ha!